Hi, this is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta. I'm here in our Mac lab on the Augusta campus because today I'm going to show you how to install a program called R and how to install a package called iGraph on a Macintosh computer. So here we are on a Mac. We're going to open up a browser and in uh, that browser we're going to look for the R project website and that is R dash project dot org. Not too bad. And we'll look for a download R link. We'll click that. And then we'll look for a mirror in the United States. So when we find that mirror in the United States, we'll look for the Mac download, click that, and then click the package that's appropriate for the operating system that you have. That's important. I have a Mac OS X 10.9. So I'm going to work with that. And you'll see down at the lower left, I'm downloading about 70.6 megabytes. Then when I'm done, I'm going to click there to open. And this is an installer. I'm going to hit continue, continue, continue. I'm going to agree to the terms and then install. And since I'm on a, a computer that isn't mine, I have to use a password and then it's going to write the files. Now this, for me, hung for a little while. Uh, it said less than a minute, but it ended up taking a bit more than a minute, so we may pause here. And now it's finishing up. The installation was successful. I hit close, and then I'm going to go in Mac to the Finder to find the correct application, which is called R. So now I've started R. This is the console, and the console is just one of the many windows that I'm interested in. But I don't right now I'd like to look at packages and data and look at package installer. And I'm going to want to get a list. And when I click get list, I have to choose a mirror. I like the one in Michigan. It seems to work for me. So I'm going to click OK. And then when I click OK, it is going to ask me if I want to set it as a default. You may want to do that. You may not want to do that. But you'll see a number of packages here. And what I'm going to do is select iGraph. And I'm going to scroll down to find iGraph. Now, what's really important here is that there are some options at the bottom. These options include install dependencies, and at system level, that means in the R framework. That's super important because when you install iGraph, you'll also install all the packages that you need to make iGraph work. So this is the set of options that I've found that actually works. And then there's going to be one more trick that we'll look at in a moment. So I'm going to click iGraph. I'll click Install Dependencies, and then I will click Install Selected. And it's been downloaded. That's wonderful. So what am I going to do now? Uh, I'm going to head over, and I'm going to, in my Windows, look at the Package Manager. I'm probably going to notice that it's not loaded. So how do I fix that? Well, I'm going to click the little box next to it. And now it will say, oh, loaded, which is really handy. And then I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to select a new document, which is a new script. And then I'm going to enter uh, just the kind of program that we've used before. Now, if I just go to edit and try execute, which is to run it, it's going to give me an error. The error says error in plot, that object, family network, my network is not found. So what can I do to make it work? I can select the whole thing. It turns out that's what you need to do in a Mac. There's no uh, tutorial that tells you this, but it works. Select all your script and then execute and boom your network will appear. This is a little different. It's a little bit more complicated than in the other uh, 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 platforms, but it'll work. And that's the important thing to know. I hope this is helpful. And um, 
please let me know. See, so select all, execute. Let me know if you have any further troubles. Follow exactly what I did in this file, and you should do a little bit better.